everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's the Plum Dot here and I know it has been quite some time since I have posted anything on my channel, but I am excited to be back and sharing this with you because this video is a special one. This is a collab with Films by Josh, formerly known as Simtastic Builder. So if you guys don't know who Josh is, Films by Josh, I will be linking his channel below as well as his portion of this collab in the description for you guys to go check out and show him some love. But Josh does Sims 3 house building, Sims 4 house building, and he also does renovations over on his channel. And he is a huge inspiration to me. So I've been wanting to collab with Josh for probably two years now over a year over a year not two years because i haven't been on youtube for two years so i don't even know what i'm talking about um but it's been quite some time since i've wanted to collab with josh and i pestered him i prodded him i poked him and finally he relented and was like okay i'll collab with you if you just leave me alone no josh never said that um but we finally got our heads together and decided to do this collab so we came up with modern waterfront with which josh built and you are seeing me decorate right now. And so it is built in Twinbrook and we wanted to go for a modern industrial vibe. So Twinbrook was kind of the perfect world to build this in and I believe this lot was occupied by the love and friends household I could be making that up but basically Josh booted them out of their house bulldozed it because there are some pretty awesome views from this particular lot so when I saw this house I was like oh my god Josh how do you do it I mean this kid is so good with the terrain tool and he is so good at building he puts so much detail into his builds and I'm always in awe of what he does and like I said he has got skills with the terrain tool so whenever he puts out a house building video I immediately click that so quickly I'm like yes I'm not missing this my notification bell is going off Josh is uploaded let's see what grace greatness he has come up with today and he never fails to impress me every single time and sometimes I'll watch his videos and I'm like okay I can do that and so I go and try it out in my own game and I'm like it's not working how in the world does he do this and he always puts so much detail into his builds that yeah I'm just in awe so I was so happy that he finally said okay let's do this collab um and you know let's let's hop to it so We've got this modern industrial vibe going on. So in my decorating style, you're gonna see a lot of exposed brickwork, a lot of concrete, which um, if you guys have been on my channel for quite some time, you know that I love exposed brickwork. I just think it's so cozy and it's so nice and comforting for some reason. And if ever I have my own home, there will be exposed brickwork in the house so it's like i was kind of living my dream while i was decorating this house because every single room in this house has at least one wall of exposed brickwork so we've just finished with the kitchen which we will be re revisiting that shortly because i do go back and i do change uh the color of the brick because i thought that this red was a little bit too bright for sort of the industrial vibe that i was going for so we're here in the dining room at the moment and there is my favorite Favorite chair in the entire game from the 70s 80s and 90s stuff pack I love that chair so I had to make sure that I put it in there now if you guys um, have ever seen any of Josh's house building videos his Sims 3 house building videos you will know that in every single one of his videos he puts a yellow horse so in homage to Josh or to pay homage to what he usually does when he decorates, I have thrown a yellow horse somewhere in this build for Josh just to keep with tradition. Um, so you guys will be seeing that at some point in this build. But here we are in the dining room and this house has four bedrooms, three bathrooms. It is spread across three levels. So there is actually a basement level. It's a walkout basement, which is pretty darn cool. And and when Josh sent me the house, he was like, right, I've laid out the bedrooms, I've laid out the, the rooms, but you can do whatever you see fit to it. So if you want to change out the floor plan, anything like that, you just go for it, you know, 
just do what you want to do. And I didn't change a lot. I moved some walls here and there, but for the most part, the layout is exactly the same as when Josh sent me the house because I just wanted to keep it true to his style, true to his form. But let me tell you, I had the hardest time in the world trying to figure out what went where. So the, the kitchen was kind of obvious, the dining room was kind of obvious, but I was toying with the idea of putting the dining room where the living room is. And I was actually toying with the idea of knocking down all the walls on this main level and making it completely open. But then I was like, no, I've got to make this work. I've got to keep it true to what Josh built it as. Um, but the living room, which is where we're at now, is probably the hardest part of this build for me because I just didn't know how to lay it out. And I actually built it several times off camera before I got a layout that I liked because you guys all know that I'm an indecisive sloth. It takes me forever to figure out what I want to do. And so instead of like doing and redoing and doing and redoing on camera, I like to sort of figure things out off camera. And then once I have a final design, I'm like, okay, this works. I will film this part. So that's what happened with the living room here. And as you can see, I built my own little fireplace. Now your Sims won't get a mood lit from the fireplace and the fog emitters that I use, but it's just a really cool effect and it looks pretty darn awesome if I do say so myself. I love making my own fireplaces and I didn't want to put in another fireplace in the house because like I said, I didn't want to mess with Josh's aesthetic um, with how the house was balanced out when he built it. So I just built my own and there's no fireplace needed so it's like one of those electric fireplaces which I think look really cool really awesome and so comfy and cozy now you're gonna notice in modern waterfront there is so much technology going on there are TVs everywhere there are probably three or four computers in this house and when I was decorating it I kind of had it in mind that there would be sort of an older family living here so probably no babies no toddlers there could be some kids maybe on the verge of becoming teenagers but I just had it in my mind that you're not gonna have like children running around with glass tables and toddlers who can leave their sticky fingerprints everywhere this is like for the sophisticated household and this lot once I was finished with it I think it was about it was over 250,000 simoleons so this is definitely not a starter home this is like super luxurious and that's what I was going for you guys know that I don't like constraints I don't like budgets I don't do well with them although I do have a budget build coming up at some point once I get back into the swing of things here on my channel and um, but I do have some things that I do want to share with you that do include budgets that almost nearly killed me so you're welcome <laughs> Um, but we're almost finished with the living room here, and I don't know if you guys saw it. I think I put down the horse somewhere. Um, I can't remember if I did or I didn't. I'm pretty sure I did, and you guys should have seen it in the living room in the little, um, what is it called? The little office area. So this is just sort of an Eden kitchen area. I know it's not in the kitchen, but it's just off the kitchen, and I just wanted to put in a little table there. I didn't know what to put there when I was originally looking looking at the layout I thought maybe to put the dining room there but then I thought no that's a little bit cramped and then what am I going to use that front space for with the living or with the fireplace so this is just a little eating area that walks out onto the deck now I didn't do any of the outside spaces on camera just because this video probably would have been hours and hours long like I said I had about six and a half hours of footage and we didn't want to make it any longer than it needed to be now this half bathroom is the only bathroom that you're going to see on camera. You'll be able to see the rest of them sometimes in this video, but you'll be able to see them in the overhead screenshots that I provide at the very end of this video. But in the beginning, I moved this half bath to the other side of the stairs because I wanted the kitchen to be a rectangular shape and I didn't want it to be sort of this 
odd shape. I was having trouble working with sort of odd angles in this build at some point. Um, so that's what I mean why, where I did like minor changes and moving the half bath to the other side of the staircase was one of those minor changes that I made. Because for me, I don't really like bathrooms that are directly next to the kitchen. I know it's The Sims and I know they don't have like smelling abilities, but kitchen or bathrooms next to kitchens just remind me of icky gross stuff like getting in your food and yeah it just makes me want to oh <laughs> so i moved it to the other side so here we are downstairs in the basement and you'll get some glimpses of what's happening outside you can see there's a hot tub there's also a fire pit and then there's another cool little seating area that i put in outside um but this is kind of the hangout space this is kind of where i thought maybe some gamers in the family might want to hang out with their friends so i built this little entertainment unit there's a bookcase on one side you've got Got your little iPod here in case you want to have a dance party. I like to have dance parties in basements, so I thought maybe my Sims want to have a dance party in the basement. So I put in this little table that came from the hipster loft set from the store, the sensory store, and then I put a little console on there so it looks like it's all built in. And then you're going to see that I put in some arcade machines, and under the stairs, which are open, I do put in another computer, kind of like maybe a gaming computer, you know, if your sim wants to play fork knife or roblox or minecraft i don't know what the kids are playing these days but if your sim wants to do any of that they are able to do so and i did play test this entire lot so everything does work if anything is different in the download which will be down below in the description if anything's different from that it's because my play testers are dumb and they couldn't reach things so i had to change things around <laughs> And I'll get back to that in a minute, but here are the arcade machines and then I'm going to throw in that little thingamajig from University Life. I don't know what it's called. It's like a trophy case, but I just thought it looked good there and just laying everything out. Now, as you guys are noticing, I am recoloring everything on camera. I know a lot of you guys don't like it when I don't recolor on camera, um, but I'm always a little bit self-conscious about doing it on camera because like I said, I'm super duper slow. I'm indecisive and I just didn't want to put you guys through that but a lot of you guys just want to see see what's going on so here's all my recoloring on camera I'm doing it for you guys and another thing about this build it is completely CC free I know that Josh is a CC free builder and he also tries to limit his store content usage now because I couldn't use not because I couldn't use it but because I chose not to use CC I did go a little bit hog wild on the store content so there is a lot of store content in here but there's no CC so hey it's a bit of a trade-off but here is the computer under the stairs like I said it does work and it could be kind of like a little gaming computer for your sims to just like hang out maybe they're on discord chatting to their friends i don't know um but there is another computer there like i said this is like really technologically heavy um this house is and but there's one room which is down here that doesn't have a lot of technology in it in fact i don't think it has any technology in it unless are lights technology i don't know if lights are technology well, I, this, that's going to blow my brain. Lights are definitely technology, but <laughs> anyway, here we are in this little gym space. Now I toyed with the idea of making it a sauna, but then I was like, no, there's windows and there's a door. Let's make it a gym. So your Sims have got their own at home gym. Now, this is one of the things that you guys are going to notice in the download that is a little bit different than what you're seeing now. Um, like I said, my tester Sims are a little bit of dum-dums. They're kind of stupid. So <laughs> instead of walking straight into that shower they actually need to enter it on the side which that doesn't make sense to me you just step into the shower you turn it on and like you know it should be as simple as that but it wasn't as simple as that so I actually had to rearrange how that little shower room looks so it would function but it does function and you guys are probably wondering why is there a window there next to the toilet I don't know I just thought it was a cool like walk-in shower effect and if your sim uses that shower anyway they're gonna be in their swimsuit so it's not like anybody's gonna see your sims in their birthday suits while they're showering and to be honest sims don't really care it's not like sims are shy or anything i mean you could put a toilet in front of a window and they wouldn't care because i'm i think that sims are 
you know, nudists. Well, they're not nudists, but they're um, exhibitionists. They don't care who sees them doing their business because it doesn't bother them because they don't have feelings. <laughs> so here we are in this downstairs bedroom. And this is the bedroom that I was talking about that doesn't have any technology, unless you count lights as technology, but we're not going to go over that argument again because it hurts my brain. And so one of the things that I was thinking of when I was decorating this house is that I really wanted it to be sort of an artsy fartsy type of household so down here in this bedroom I thought that the painter could be down here because they've got this wall of windows that, and door that you can see on the right hand side so they've got pretty good views not like they could move the easel or anything but you know for pretending sake, you can look out at the water and get some beautiful views and some inspiration for your Sims to paint from. So there's a lot of, I don't even know what I was gonna say. I lost my train of thought. There's a yellow bed bedspread. <laughs> I did use a lot of um, dark colors in this house. It's a very monochrome color palette, so you're gonna have blacks, whites, grays, and then there's gonna be pops of colors, but most of the color scheme is very, very dark. So you will see that I do put some stripes on the wall for sort of a feature wall because we've already got the exposed brick, so I wanted to have a little bit of a feature wall behind the easel and the fish tank which I put in there um, and you know just let your sims artsy side come out now um, I'm just going through and I'm recoloring everything as I do and you guys are seeing a little bit of my indecision but it wasn't too bad to be quite quite honest for six and a half hours like it could have been worse it could have been ten times worse while I was recoloring this house but it wasn't too shabby and I really like this whole stripe motif that I've got as the feature wall and um, it's something that I did to one of my old bedrooms at my parents house because I've always loved that and I think it looks really really cool so we are pretty much done with this room and then we're gonna pop hop upstairs to my most favorite bedroom in the house. It is smaller, but I thought this could be sort of for a teenager, maybe a teen, a, a child that's just become a teenager, so a teenager. <laughs> But they still have their stuffed animals, um, but they are also still very into the art. So for this room, I thought maybe music and photography, and then I put in a laptop maybe for some photo editing. And I just thought it was a good use of space. I don't know. I really like this bedroom. It's one of my favorites. Maybe it's because it uses the plum color. I know downstairs had yellow, which is my favorite color, but I really, I'm really into plum, hence the name. Um, but yeah, I love this bedroom. And you're gonna see, I'm gonna pull out some stuffed animals in a minute, and that's what I meant by it could be sort of an older child, maybe um, just going into teenage years. But what am I talking about? I'm an adult and I still have my childhood blanket that if ever I take a nap on my sofa, I have got my blanket wrapped around me. And where the silk used to be, I'm always rubbing the edges. Do you guys have anything like that? It doesn't matter like what age you are, but do you guys have stuffed animals still? Do you guys still have your baby blankets? Do you guys still have toys that you keep around on display? Kind of like this room that we're seeing here. I wanna know what you guys have that is from your childhood that's really sentimental to you and kind of gives you warm fuzzies, things that make it easier for you to fall asleep to. So this bedroom is laid out you can kind of see that we've got a different dresser to the end table and it was I kind of had this kind of retro chic thing going on in this room oops excuse me my voice is a frog in it um I have this retro vibe going on maybe that side table was found at a flea market and then they repurposed it I love that type of design aspect mixing and matching styles together I think it looks really really cool and you can see on the bedspread at the moment I've got these sort of hearts and that bedspread is actually a bedspread that I had when I was a child so I wanted to like harken back to those days um, and pull like from my own experiences but then I actually do go ahead and get rid of it <laughs> But you can see we've got a guitar, we've got the camera, we've got the laptop for photo editing, and I just think it's a really cool, cozy bedroom. Now, um, with this bedroom, there is another bedroom that is the sort of the children's bedroom, and they share this family bathroom, which you're seeing in the top 
right corner at the moment of the screen. And then there's another bedroom up here, which is the ensuite to the master, or there's another bathroom, sorry, which is the ensuite to the master bedroom. Now, what I was thinking for the master bedroom, I know we're not there yet, but I might as well talk about it right now, is I've been watching a butt ton of beauty guru videos. Now, I'm not into makeup per se, like I wear makeup sometimes, but I didn't even know there was that level of makeup and I've been engrossed in that community and there's a lot of drama happening in the beauty community right now sip sip so i'm kind of living for that at the moment and i'm really really loving it so once you get to the master bedroom you'll see that i've put in a vanity with like a bright light so maybe the parents in this house are both beauty gurus and they like to film videos or they just like to do crazy looks on their each other's faces i don't know but you'll see when we get there so this is another bedroom that I thought could be for children. And I use colors in here that I wouldn't normally use in a house. Um, I use more primary colors and I hardly ever use red in my houses because I just don't like the color red. I don't know why, it's just not, it's not my jam. Um, it's not my favorite color of the rainbow at all. So um, I did use that in this room and I actually like how this room turned out with all of the primary colors. And you know, there's a TV, I'm gonna put a console in there and these Sims could just game away if they wanted to game away in this particular room. So I wanna know, how are you guys doing? It's been a while since we've talked. How has your summer been? Can you guys let me know down below in the comments how your summer's been, what you've been up to, are you guys back in school? I wanna know everything. Did you go on a trip? Did you read any books? Did you watch any shows? comment down below what you've been up to i've seriously seriously missed each and every one of you i've missed posting to my channel and like i said i'm going to get back into the swing of things we're going to get things back on track here um on my channel and hopefully there is so many more things to come because i have got so many ideas brewing in my little noggin here but i'm so happy that this first video after my little break is this collab with films by josh because like i said he's an amazing creator he's one of my favorites um i am in awe of everything that he does every video he puts out i'm like yes yes i love it and i i'm usually the first there but i don't comment first on his videos <laughs> because i don't do that um but yeah Guys, go and show him some love. I'm gonna have the link to his portion of the collab down below as well as his channel. Go and drop him some love, drop him a like. Anything you can do to show Films by Josh some love because he definitely deserves it. Because like I said, he is fantastic. He is sim simstastic, he is amazing. But I think I'm going to wrap this up here, this mess of a voiceover. But what do you expect? It's the plum dot. But I'm going to wrap it up here. I'm going to love you and leave you guys with some music. I'm going to skeet, skeet, skedaddle. And you know what I always say. Don't be a plum stranger now, guys. Bye.